Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature, and here with me is Dr. Jordan Mallon, paleontologist here at the museum. And we're here because it's the 25th anniversary of the first Jurassic Park movie. And Jordan, could you comment on what do you think the release of that movie 25 years ago has done for the field of paleontology and all the time since? Yes, definitely. I, I think it's safe to say we're in a golden age of dinosaur discovery now. Uh, thanks to particularly that first movie, um, it inspired a new generation of paleontologists who are out there now looking uh, in new places. You've got new eyes in new places, many more uh, people looking. And as a result, we're finding um, all kinds of new dinosaur species. For example, within the last year alone, we found maybe 50 new species. And not only that, but uh, a lot of people from my generation grew up with computers. And so you've got all kinds of new technologies that are being applied to the study uh, of dinosaurs now. And as a result, we're finding out all kinds of new things about them. What kind of new technologies? Uh, for example, 3D technology is, is really big now. So, you know, particularly studying large dinosaurs, think of the long necked sauropods, you know, their thigh bone might be as, as big as I am tall, and so if you can digitize specimens, they're much easier to manipulate in computers to study how these animals might have moved. Um, also, we're studying large databases now. We're, we're using large data sets to study things like the evolution and ecology of dinosaurs, and so we're, we're using applying statistical methods to those databases to learn more and more about, as I say, evolution and ecology. So Jordan, 25 years later, are you just as excited about a new Jurassic Park movie coming out as you were before? You know, I'll always love the first one the most, but you know, every time there's new dinosaurs on the big screen, um, I'm always pretty excited. So, you know, it seems like every new iteration we have of the movie, they put new species in. So I'm always excited to see which species those might be and how they're actually portrayed. And of course, you don't have to wait to see dinosaurs on the big screen. We invite you to come down to the Fossil Gallery at the Canadian Museum of Nature where you can see real specimens on display for yourself. Thank you for joining us for this Nature Scoop. Until next time.